Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. So as promised today, I'm going to talk about the rooster and the forecast for all those rooster people in the year of the water tiger, which begins on February 4th. Now, first, you need to actually check whether or not you have the rooster anywhere in your Baza chart. And you can do that by plotting your chart with this link. I'm also putting the link in the notes to this video. So just copy paste and then enter your date and time of birth and you will get this particular chart. We're focusing on the pink uh, on the on the pink part. Yeah, there will be other parts there in the in the full chart. But this is what we're focusing on now. Um, if you don't know the time of birth, don't panic. Yeah, this is not that important. Surely you know your day, month and year. So that is plenty. And you just need to sh uh, check whether you have the rooster in the chart. Now, uh, for um, beginners, this may be something new. Yeah, you can actually have up to four different animal signs in the chart. So this person here is born in the year of the ox month of the tiger, day of the rooster, and the hour of the tiger. So you can have up to four different animal signs, one of which may well be the rooster. So you don't have to be born in the year of the rooster in order for this particular forecast to apply to you. Now, um, if you have more than one rooster, that's also fine. Yeah, sometimes you have people who have four identical animal signs in the hour, day, month and year. Happens rarely, but it does happen. So that's also fine. So don't worry if you see that in your chart. Anything is possible, right? All you need to check is do you have the rooster or not anywhere? And if you do, then this forecast applies to you. Now, there's a slight difference in um, um, whether or not it, it appears in the year, the month, the day or the hour. Uh, this is not that important, but if you want to know what the layers mean, the year refers to your um, wider circle, your friends, your extended family, uh, maybe your industry network. Yeah, extended your extended social circle. So anything that I'm telling you in this forecast, if you do have the rooster in the year, then apply this to this realm of your life. If you have it in a month, then the forecast applies more to your career, your job environment, your work colleagues, um, the way you generate money, even your siblings and your parents. That's all represented by the month pillar. If it applies or if it appears in the day, uh, as with this person here, then the forecast applies more to you as a person, yeah, your your physical, your mental, emotional well-being, your health, and obviously also your uh, romantic relationships, whether you're married or whether you're in, um, in a long-term relationship or just single and dating, yeah, your, your romantic life in essence. And if it appears in the hour, then it applies more to your um, dreams, your goals in life, your aspirations. If you have children, then it applies to your relationship with your children. If you don't have children and you're a business owner, it could apply to the relationship you have with your employees, with your staff, with your personnel. And it can also apply to your investment and your assets. But um, if that's a little bit too complicated, yeah, don't worry about it. Just check, do you have the rooster or not? And then just take it as it is. Uh, the forecast will apply to you in one form or another. All right. Now let's see what the rooster has to look forward to in 2022, the year of the water tiger. Now, um, you do have a really lovely star here that is called the Dragon Virtue Star. Now, the Dragon Virtue Star usually brings a lot of good omens and lots of positivity. And uh, you will, it will also help you develop a lot of very strong problem solving skills. So you'll be able to chan change unexpected negative situations into positive ones. So even though or even if the year may be a bumpy ride every now and then, uh, you are really competent at tackling each issue with ease and you don't have to worry about it, especially because you also have the heavenly chief. Now, this is a really, really auspicious star that can cancel out any negative influence that comes into your life. 
Now, this is really something positive. This is really something great to have. So it is uh, considered one of the most auspicious stars in Chinese metaphysics, um, auxiliary stars, yeah? So you can expect a barrage of abundance and that doesn't necessarily have to come in the form of financials or money. It could also be an abundance of help, an abundance of love, an abundance of friendship. Yeah, anything. You are abundant this year. So look out for um, opportunities that come your way. And especially if you have the rooster in your uh, in your month pillar, then this is excellent from a career perspective. You may actually get promoted. Um, you may be given added responsibilities and all the support and the resources that you need in your work, in your job. So do make, do take advantage of that. Um, happiness can also be yours. Yeah, great achievements can be yours. So the heavenly chief is really overall one of the most positive energies that you could possibly have in your chart. So be really be happy when you see the rooster somewhere in your chart, uh, and build strong relationships and and build long term connections this year to make really full use of this particular star. And if you do that, you do not have to be afraid of either the brutal defeat star or the dark sky star, which both sound really kind of threatening and negative and maybe a bit menacing, but you don't have to worry. So the brutal defeat star, again, um, fairly negative name, uh, as always when we deal with Chinese metaphysics, um, it can just essentially bring abrupt changes to plans or unwelcome surprises. Yeah, maybe you face sudden ups and downs and, and obstacles. So I would say just have a backup plan with whatever you do, but don't worry too much because really, uh, even if you if one of your plans suddenly doesn't turn out the way you wanted it to turn out, uh, you can always rely on your support network and on the Heavenly Chief Star to uh, really support you in anything you do, not to worry. And the Dark Sky Star brings small, small insignificant, insignificant accidents. They are mostly neutralized by the Heavenly Chief Star. Yeah. So again, nothing to worry about. Uh, the rooster is one of the more neutral animals uh, in 2022. So there's nothing super negative coming your way. You don't have to worry about that. And with Dragon Virtue and Heavenly, Heavenly Chief, you have two of the most positive energies. So take make good use of those both in your personal life and in your professional life and just enjoy the ride. All right. So if you do have any questions, any comments, please put them in the comments below or get in touch. My contact details are in the notes. And do share this video with those who have the rooster in the chart, who are born in the year of the rooster, or just want to check out what else they have in their chart. Anybody who's interested, please like, comment, share, and I will see you in my next um, update, which I think will be the dog. So all the dogs out there, uh, watch out for the next forecast video.